Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 4, part 1 and 2 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the questions 1 to 3 from the same exercise, examples 1 to 6 and exercise 3.1. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button. Now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 4 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables says, which of the following pairs of linear equations, if consistent, obtain the solution graphically? So here they have given us four pairs of linear equation and we have to find out whether the pair of linear equation are consistent or inconsistent. So first of all, let me tell you what does this word consistent mean? Consistent mean the pair of linear equation which has a solution, which should have one or more solution is called as a consistent pair of linear equation. If there is no solution in a given pair of linear equation, it is called as an inconsistent pair of linear equation. So first of all, let us solve the first first part of the question. In my previous video, that is the introduction part for exercise 3.2, I have explained you this table where the ratios of coefficients of the two pair of linear equations are found out and depending upon their equation, we say that the lines will be intersecting coincident or parallel lines. When the lines are intersecting, we obtain a unique solution. So since we obtain a solution here, the lines will be consistent lines. Similarly, in the coincident lines, we obtain infinite number of solution. Since we are getting a solution here, again, the coincident lines are consistent. And when you look at the parallel lines, where we do not obtain any solution since they do not intersect at any point, such kind of lines will be inconsistent since we do not obtain any solution here. Right? So these are inconsistent lines. So now let us find out, given the pair of linear equation, whether the lines are consistent or inconsistent by equating the ratios. So first of all, let us write down the general form of linear pair of equations. Equations are given by a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. So these general form of linear equations are equated to 0, right? So let us first of all equate them to 0 and then we can find out the coefficients a1, b1, c1 and a2, b2, c2. So let us write down x plus y, send this 5 to left hand side. So this will become minus 5 and then we can equate this equation to 0. Similarly, the second equation can be written as 2x plus 2y, sending this 10 to left hand side, we get minus 10 equal to 0. Right now, let us write down the coefficient from the first equation. The coefficient of x a1 is 1. Similarly, coefficient of y b1 is 1. Constant c1 is minus 5. Right? Again, the coefficient of x from the second equation a2 is equal to 2, b2 is equal to 2 and c2 is minus 10. Right? So now let us find out ratios a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2. a1 by a2 will be 1 by 2. Similarly, b1 by b2 is 1 by 2 and c1 by c2 is equal to minus 5 divided by minus 10. So this minus and minus will become plus and this can cancel as 5 1 times, 5 2 times. So again we get 1 by 2, right? So here you can observe all the three ratios a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 are equal that is 1 by 2, right? So if all the three ratios are equal, then the lines are coincident, right? And we obtain infinite number of solution. And therefore, we can say that the pair of linear equations are consistent, right? So write down, since a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and that is equal to c1 by c2. Therefore, we can say that the pair of linear equations are consistent. So now since these are consistent, now let us solve and obtain the solution graphically. 
right so which are the two equations here from equation 1 we have x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0 now let us find out the x value by sending all the other terms to right hand side so we get x is equal to minus 5 will become plus 5 and plus y will become minus y so here we have to substitute the value of y and obtain the value of x we can assume value of y to be anything but you should make sure we should assume the value of y such that we obtain a whole number if you obtain a fractional or a decimal number it will be a little difficult for you to plot on the graph so always make sure you obtain the whole numbers here if we substitute y equal to 0 then we get x is equal to 5 minus 0 so we get x as 5 similarly if when we take y as equal to 5 x will be 5 minus 5 and that will be equal to 0 now let us draw a table for these values x and y we have for y equal to 0 we got x as equal to 5 similarly for y equal to 5 we got x as equal to 0 right this is from the first equation now from the second equation let us find out the values so it is 2x plus 2y minus 10 equal to 0 now to find out the x value let us send all the other terms to right hand side so we get 2x is equal to this minus 10 will become plus 10 and plus 2y will become minus 2y send this 2 to right hand side we get x is equal to 10 minus 2y divided by 2 again let us assume y value equal to 0 so we get x is equal to 10 minus 2 into 0 will be 0 right so 2 into 0 divided by 2 so this will be 2 into 0 is 0 so 10 by 2 so 2 1 times 2 5 times so we get x value as 5 similarly you take y as equal to 5 x is equal to 10 minus 2 into 5 divided by 2 so this will be 10 minus 5 into 2 is 10 so 10 minus 10 will be 0 anything divided by 0 will be equal to again 0 right so again let us draw the table for these values so here we got for y equal to 0 x value as 5 and for y equal to 5 we got x as 0 if you observe both the tables have same values here right let us plot these values on the graph and find out the solution so now here let us plot the graph by taking x-axis and y-axis so what is the scale here on x-axis we are taking one unit is equal to one and similarly on y-axis we are taking again one unit equal to one right so you can write down the scale for the previous problems i have not written down the scale so please you can write down the scale for all the graph problems okay so the scale will be x-axis is equal to one unit is equal to one similarly on y axis one unit is equal to one if you are taking here 10 20 30 40 then we will write one unit is equal to 10 since here we are taking one unit as equal to one value we have written here one right now let us plot the graph for the table from the first equation x plus y minus 5 equal to 0 so here at x equal to 5 y is equal to 0 so on x axis we have to take 5 and on y axis it is 0 so we get a point here let us mark this point as a that is on x axis we get 5 and on y axis it is 0 similarly on x equal to 0 let us take y equal to 5 so on x axis it is 0 on y axis we have to take 5 we get a point here and now let us mark this point as b at x equal to 0 and y equal to 5 now let us draw a line through these two points representing the equation x plus y minus 5 equal to 0 right now likewise let us plot for second equation 2x plus 2y minus 10 equal to 0 here at x equal to 5 y equal to 0 on x axis it is 5 and on y axis it is 0 so again we get a same point if you observe even the tables are same for both the equations so we get same points here right so let us mark this point as p at 5 comma 0 similarly the second point is at x equal to 0 y is equal to 5 so again we get the same point so let us mark this point as q at x equal to 0 y equal to 5 so draw another line intersecting these two points hence here we obtain the lines are overlapping so this line represents the equation 2x plus 2y 
minus 10 equal to 0. Since the lines are overlapping or coincident, all the points on this line will be a solution for these two pair of linear equation. For example, if we consider this point on x coordinate it is 3 and on y axis it is 2. So let us consider this point 3 comma 2 and verify in the given two equations. So let us verify here for the point 3 comma 2. Right, taking first equation it is x plus y minus 5 equal to 0. So what is x value? It is 3 plus y value is 2 minus 5 equal to 0. So here 3 plus 2 is 5 and minus 5. So 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 0. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. Obviously the first equation is verified. Similarly let us verify the second equation that is 2x plus 2y minus 10 equal to 0. So 2 into x is 3 plus 2 into y is 2 minus 10 equal to 0. So here 3 into 2 is 6 plus 2 into 2 is 4 minus 10 equal to 0. So 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 minus 10 will be equal to 0. So this left hand side is 10 minus 10 is 0 and 0. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. Again the second equation is also verified. So we can say that the point 3 comma 2 is the solution for given pair of two linear equation. Likewise all the other points on the two lines since they are coincident will satisfy these two pair of linear equations. So therefore you can write down since the graph of the two equations are coincident the equations has infinite number of solution. Write down therefore the graph has of two equations are coincident therefore the given pair of linear equations have infinite number of solution. So now let us solve second part from the question 4. So first let us write down general form of linear pair of equations a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0, a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. So since the general form of linear pair of equations are equated to 0, let us equate the given pair of linear equations also equal to 0. So we can write first equation as x minus y. Sending this a to left hand side, we get minus 8 equal to 0. Similarly, the second equation will be 3x minus 3y. Sending the 16 to left hand side, we get minus 16 equal to 0. Right? Now let us find out the coefficients a1, b1, c1 and a2, b2, c2 comparing to the general form of linear equations. So a1 that is the coefficient of x from first equation is 1, b1 will be minus 1 since we have a minus sign here and c1 will be minus 8. Here we have to also consider the signs. Similarly a2 is equal to 3 that is the coefficient of x, b2 coefficient of y is minus 3 and c2 will be minus 16. So now let us find out the ratios a1 by a2, here it is 1 by 3, b1 by b2 will be minus 1 divided by minus 3. So this minus and minus will get cancelled and you're just left with 1 by 3. Similarly, c1 by c2 is minus 8 by minus 6. So this minus and minus will become plus. So we get 8 1 times, 8 2 times. So we get 1 by 3. Two, right so here you observe a1 by a2 are equal but it is not equal to the third ratio c1 by c2 when does this condition occur so here if you observe a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and not equal to c1 by c2 so this condition occurs when the lines are parallel and when the lines are parallel we obtain no solution and since we obtain no solution we can say that the lines are inconsistent so write down therefore ratios a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 this is not equal to the third ratio c1 by c2 therefore the lines are parallel and since they are parallel we get no solution and therefore we can say that the given pair of linear equations are inconsistent right so this is how we solve this problem if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving part 3 and part 4 from question number 4 exercise 3.2 chapter 3 pair of linear equations and two variables so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc insert math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 3 pair of linear equations shown on the screen thank you